Alright, welcome back to the Final Fantasy XV Let's Play. Uh, we are going to be going into the Umbra timeline. Or, sorry, not the Umbra timeline. We're going to the past. Um, the Umbra, I don't know. Every time I think of Umbra, I think of, like, Bayonetta. So I always think it's, like, Umbra witches and slowing down time. But, uh, yeah, uh, we're going back to the past with the help of Umbra to, uh rediscover herself, I guess, to ignite the spark as to why we, uh, love Lunafrey, because I feel like most of why... Oh, everyone's here. Howdy, Prince. Do you mind swinging by the garage for a hot minute? We've been experiencing some awful strange shakes back here in Lead. The hunters are already looking into it, but I reckon they could use a couple more hands. Got it. On our way. Wait, is the Umbra supposed to help with teleportation and not necessarily... I think that has more to do with teleportation than... <laughs> Uh, anything else because if we're in the past then well okay yeah is this what they meant by past because it's not past it's just teleportation okay um Noctis receives a, call, a mercy call from Cindy who warns him about a sudden rash of earthquakes rocking in Lade region Prince and his friends are agreed to investigate okay is it just all right, we just need to find a car. Where the fuck are we exactly? Oh, we're in Iris's uh, place. Okay, the car shouldn't be too far away then, right? Pick that up. Uh... Hey there. Uh, what would you like us to do? The air is so crisp and refreshing. Nothing like the city. Okay. Good news, Noct. Our garden is up and running. Okay. So, not you gonna put your green thumb to the test? And do what with it? Uh, grow vegetables? You can eat them or sell them if you want. Fine, uh, so what okay. do I do? It all starts with a seed. Here, try these. You can now grow crops in Iris's field, namely the rare cam carrot. Due to Nox's strong aversion, Ignis cannot use them in his cooking. Okie dokie! Alright, before we get to the emergency call that... That, uh, Cindy really wants us to do... Let's send to a garden first. Uh... Especially since it's not too far away anyway, so might as well. Oh, we are spending the entire day... Oh, so much for sleeping in, am I right? Okay. So, seeds. Initiate an entire. The seeds are in place. Check them after resting overnight. Like immediately after, or anytime we want. Harvest crops when they are ready. Okay, we don't need to water them or anything. We just plant them, and they should be fine, right? <laughs> right. Okay. Right. Anyways, back to the car, and this time, for real, towards Cindy's uh, distress call. Oops. Wrong quest. There we go. Oh, uh, where is the fucking uh, car exactly? Just had to go down this hilly area, right? And that's it. Hopefully. <laughs> yeah, there, there's our car. So we're Chocobo, but like I think because of that. <laughs> If we go back to, uh, the area where, in which we originally were, we would, uh, lose the ability to have chocobos. That's fine, we only have one day for that anyways, but... Right, quest location... Is it here? Where are you? There it is. Fast travel there real quickly, see what the hell Sydney's all about. Yeah, in comparison, this place is like a tiny, tiny area. 
it's interesting. Yeah, we should probably do a little bit of whatever we're doing around here. And Oh shit, because it's daytime, that means we could take a picture, right? Hopefully. <laughs> now, how do we initiate to go back? Do we just go back to a hotel again and say, Umbra, go back into the future? That's weird to say it's a time-based thing, though I must, I must have misheard it or something. Could have been, like, location-based, but I don't know. For some reason, I just thought time, for some reason. Eh, it might be because of me and Bayonetta. Who knows? Uh, but yeah, I think we're almost done with the game. We're in chapter 9, so that means we're like six chapters away from being the game, right? That's like 60%, 66% of the way there, I think? I don't know, I'm not that good at math, so I wouldn't know. Oh. I can't wait to, uh, it's gonna be weird to say, but I can't wait to go back to college one day. Uh, uh not one day. To go back hey, to college Ranger, in the summer, here? because, uh, Paradise for a glasses are gonna like be you. free, so, yay! Okay, so there's gotta be stop with the whole loading screen within the loading screen. Just load all the entire thing and not, yeah. Oh, we're saving too. Hmm. Anyways. Cindy, where there you are. What's up? Some sizable seismic activity down south near Longwith. Dave and his boys are on the beat as we speak. It's the darndest thing. Ain't never felt so much as a rumble around these parts. Got a lot of folks worried. Got me worried too. Ain't easy tuning up a shaking chassis. Anywho, hope Dave and y'all can do something. Okay. Speak. Is Dave back there or is Dave? All the way over there, okay. We could probably do this in the side quest more, if anything. Okay, let's go to an end and see if uh, that's how we get back to uh, the, the main quest. Because I think we're good for that, not only that, but level 30! Wait, what level are we? Oh, 42. We're fine! <laughs> I thought for, for a second, for a split second, I thought we were under level, but it feels like we're kind of over level at this time, but uh, whatever. I say, call Umbra. Uh, return to present. I think it has to do with time, then, right? Oh, that looks beautiful as fuck. That looks horrible. There's too much lighting there. Okay. Return to the present. That has so it has to be a time-based thing. It's a little weird to say at least because it, if I I don't know for some reason I thought that it's going to be going back in time to like I don't know for some reason when uh Noctis was a kid or something and then we're gonna see the events that spire from there. But no, it's just before we left for the boat trip, which is uh. uh yeah, it was a little weird. I think the wording could have maybe worked a little bit better. Uh, but yeah, it doesn't seem like it's that bad. So I guess that's kind of like one way to travel back in time or whatever. In case we still need, we still have things to do left uh, before the chapters. Alright, uh... It's... Wait, what the fuck? It's four... What? Huh. Is time different in uh, this game? Or what, no, sorry, in, in the the areas we are Welcome at, because back. like if we Will go back in time, it's gonna room? go back to the original. But if we go back in the past, then it's gonna be like morning it time. Crash right here. Uh, that's interesting. It's gonna be a little bit confusing too, but uh, I think it's doable. Hopefully, zero days elapse. That's experience. Everyone's level 42, so yeah, I think that's definitely better than enough to uh, figure out how to uh, talk to uh, the woman. Whatever. <laughs> no pictures today? Okay. Alright, now that that's done with, please tell me for the love of God, the lighting is good enough. What's up? What's up? What's up? Splendid. 
Where are we off to? Just please tell me for the love of God that we could actually do that side quest and say the lighting's perfect. Because Fantastic. if we call when you need a ride back. There's not much to do here aside fishing, so is this really just the dedicated huh. spot to do that? Alright, come on dude. Here Take we go. a shot from here. Good call. Now it's pitch. Now I get the feeling the lighting's gonna be too bright, which is gonna be awful looking. Prompto, you're not good at picture taking if you say that the lighting here is good. Uh, let me get this shot. Oh my god. Is it too per It's horrible lighting! Look at that! This could have been perfectly passable in the nighttime! But no, the left side is just completely white! Oh my god, Prompto, you fucking idiot! I'm not saving that. That looks ugly. The, lighting. the lighting's hor- Ugh. Prompto, I have lost all hope for you in photography. You're fired. You're fired. You're no longer in photography duty. I'm a better photographer. I'm I, like I, I legit say that too. He's a shitty photographer. And whenever there's moments where I feel like Prompto is competent enough, where there are some pictures where I feel like, oh, he got the angle nice. He got the and there are even some moments where he had, does get the light correctly. But no, whenever he's just self-proclaimed saying he's a better photographer, when he's shown nothing whatsoever. You Gentlemen, fail as a photographer, dude. A pleasure. You need to work on the... The lighting is horrible. It's too fucking bright. I don't know what the fuck Prompto was thinking when he said the lighting is good, because it's not. Fuck off, Prompto. You're shit. Uh, okay, whatever. Right over, I guess. Let's get the elemental seas first, and then go to the secretary's estate. And figure out what the fuck we're gonna do. While we're there, uh, I really just had to get that ran out of the way because you are not a good photographer for fuck's sake. So shut up, shut up about it. Uh. Okay, here we go. Anyways, upstairs. I feel like my blood sugar could be rising. And I might have had a lot of sweets or caffeine on my system. <laughs> Which is very bad. Ugh, let's talk. Whatever, I don't care anymore. <laughs> we'll do all the side quests in the past. Maybe offset, off recording session. Ugh, alright. Give me the news. Miss Hillary Trump. <laughs> This is, this is what she looks like. She looks like... She has the attitude of Trump, but the looks of Hillary. Both of which are horrible aspects to have. Camellia. Thank you for coming. Alright. The negotiation is about to begin with First Secretary Klostra. Wait, what? First second What? I thought her name was Claudia. Who the fuck is Klostra? Engage her in a manner befitting a king and strive to win her trust and cooperation. This is not gonna be fun. No sweat. First things okay, first. Okay, well, first, first, first off, okay, first off, knock this, first off, don't say no sweat, that is way too casual. Say affirmative, or... Yeah, so you say something that's uh, more agreed, instead of no sweat, because that seems way too casual. Anyways, first, probe knowledge, pry, invite, Private affairs. Express gratitude. No, that's showing emotion. Let's probe the knowledge into her. What did Westcombe tell you about us? He didn't even tell me you were here. Fortunately, I have my own ways of finding out. Though circumstances have changed, both the King and the Oracle are finally in Altitia. You said that you have Luna in your care. Show consent to accord. Dad Luna's security. Demand to see Luna. We need to be on our good side, so demanding seems pretty bad. Show concern for Accord. That seems better. We're concerned more about her than uh, our wife, which is horrible to think about, but... Is the king concerned for our relations with the Empire? But it's true. The Oracle is a risk. One we are prepared to shed with. Whether we do so depends on you. 
All right. Now, let me ask some questions of my own. Okay. Why does the Oracle seek to awaken the Hydrian? Be truthful, answer vaguely, tell her nothing. <sighs> Being truthful might be ba bad. Answer vaguely. That's how politicians usually get away with shit anyway, so let's answer vaguely. <laughs> she just wants to talk with Leviathan. She would wake a slumbering goddess just to have a chat? Although... Somehow I doubt the Tide Mother will take kindly to being roused on a mortal whim. Although, she's a lot more smarter than frank. I thought. The potential chaos worries me. You know better than most what took place in Lucis with Archean. Tell me, what happened? Uh, be cheeky. <laughs> be cheeky? We're not trying to be casual here. That's hor- She doesn't seem like the type of person you would sit with tea for. Let's try to be truthful for this one. I met Titan, and he gave me his power. Just like the legends, though the Empire doesn't like the way the story goes. Even as we speak, they mobilize their forces. It seems there's no avoiding chaos. It will most likely come to war. However, I don't care to host a battle on my soil. The gods and the Empire be damned. Show concern for the city, allude to a common enemy. Be realistic. Huh, all these are actually good options. The city is wonderful, so... Sure. It would be a disaster if a battle took place in the city. Indeed. We must be prepared to evacuate our citizens. Alright, good. This is gang smart. Agre definitely agree with her. Distance yourself. Cut to the chase. But, yeah, let's just agree for her now. for now. No doubt about it. We're in the midst of making plans, and it was to discuss your involvement in them that I called you here. Okay. Without further ado, let us talk terms. If you wish to hold the right, you must ensure my citizens' safety and aid in their evacuation. All right. Agree to help. Suggest further measures. Fine apathy. Hmm. Well, we could go straight to the point, or we could find alternatives. Now let's agree to her. Let's get to our good side. Agree right. to sucking up to the teacher's like ass it. is usually I'm the help. Is think. usually the best way as to. As long as the people's yeah. safety is assured, I have no qualms with your right. Okay. And that is not all. all right, Once the right still... has begun, I will not be accountable for what follows. You are on your own. Uh, act confident. Act as please. Act worried. We could. We got this. We got this. No problems whatsoever. Although, this please. No, no, we need to get a good side from what the game told us, so it's just that confident, I guess. Not a problem. We know how to take care of ourselves. Thank you. I'm sorry we cannot do more. But as I'm sure you are aware, few armies can stand against the might of the Imperial fleet. That is all for the terms. To review, Fuck. you are to ensure our citizens' safety and engage the Empire. Do we have an agreement? Act amicably. Act casually. Respond pompously. <laughs> uh, big words. All right. Let's fight together as allies. Allies? Such a vote of confidence. Well, you can trust us to do our part and keep the Oracle safe. All right. A final warning. Though I doubt it'll come to it. My duty is to my citizens. Should any harm befall them, there will be a reckoning. For both King and Oracle. Return the threat. Empathize with her position. Remain silent. Alright. You do what you must for your people. You're just like your father. Is that a good thing? Reject the association. Ask her meaning. I do want more information about that. I'm not sure if that's a good thing or a bad thing, so... What do you mean, like my father? Sometimes I can't tell whether you're sharp or dull. <laughs> <laughs> Madam, it's time. Assign three of your own for the evacuation effort. Whom you choose is up to you. Three of my own? According Wait, to our intel, the Imperial fleet will be four warships strong. Steal yourselves for a full-scale battle. Okay. I have confidence you will do well by us, and you can expect the same in return. 
<laughs> Noctis made a positive impression on the first secretary. Yay! So we did good. Because I did feel like at first I felt like I was acting a little bit dumb. So I could have responded a lot better. But I, so I soon picked up the pace and agreed to her commands afterwards. So that seems like a good thing. Because if she, if, uh... I can't promise something I can't help. Of course. You certainly opened up to them, though. What can I say? I have a soft spot for the young and tragic. They've lost Regis. They've lost the crystal. Was it so long ago the last oracle was taken from them? We've seen the Empire go mad these ten odd years. The Day of the Right. Right, here we go. God, this is such a beautiful looking city. And there's no one. God, this sounds like Legend of Zelda music or something. During the rite, we must see to it. The Empire does not harass Leviathan. Gonna be tough to pull off before the King receives her power. And with three of us on evacuation detail. Indeed. The best we can realistically do is to help the Hydrian help herself. What kind of help are you talking about? Just like Titan, the Empire will seek to immobilize Leviathan. Ah, oh, with the harpoon things? If we can dislodge them from the Goddess, she will have a fighting chance. Sounds good in theory, but don't push it. It's pointless, unless you can get that blessing. Stay flexible, stay alert. Alright, will do. Okay. Yeah, this place entirely empty. Hopefully the citizens are safe in a secured place. Not under the waterfalls, hopefully. <laughs> Though Noctis and Lunfrey have not met in 12 years since the Imperial c Conquest of Tenbrae, they've maintained a correspondence all the while. If worse comes to worse, you can threaten to throw the trident into the sea. Then they'll listen. In the meantime, it will be well guarded. Better than the Oracle herself. Understood. I shall reclaim it at the altar. Remember... You'll be under Imperial Watch. Right. Think of it as a necessary evil in order to forge the Covenant. I am in your debt. Once it's over, you may go as you please. But you do so without our protection. So be it. You'd better get going. Your public is waiting for you. I mean, uh, I'm unarmed. You want to capture me or kill me? Just say it. She's confident as fuck, isn't she? <laughs> Alright. Oh shit, it's been 24 minutes. Okay, should we probably take a quick break and the next part will be the rights happening after this loading screen because I don't want to like pause in the middle of the loading screen and just have to wait for it. So without further ado, We'll be right back with the next episode of Final Fantasy XV.